guys, this is Megan Hilt, and today I am doing a review of the Kitchen Boosters Do-It-Yourself Sushi Kit. I received this from Thomason in exchange for an honest review. So I received this product for free in exchange for an honest review. This is not sponsored because I am not being paid to review this product. Okay, so before I start, I just have to let you guys know I am very, very sick. Um, I have been sick all weekend. I went to the emergency room twice. I'm very sick. So if I sound really weird in this video, it's just because I'm sick. I still wanted to get this review up. So in this kit, you get a lot of cool stuff. All of the stuff right here, by the way, you get all these different size molds. You get chopsticks. You get little dishes for soy sauce. You get spoons. You get a knife. I mean, you get a lot of stuff. This is a very, very nice kit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the clip of me actually using this kit to make sushi. So what I did is I went to the store and I got some nori. I got, and nori is the seaweed wrapping around sushi. I got imitation crab. I got avocado, uh, cucumber, and cream cheese, and of course rice. And that was the ingredients I used for my sushi. And I'm going to show you right now how I made my sushi. So here we go. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to use the Kitchen Boosters Do-It-Yourself Sushi Kit. So this is the frame. And then what you want to do is you want to get a base. So I'm going to pick the one that will make the sushi ground. And you just put the base on top of the frame. Ah, there we go. And then you want the other piece. Um, I also want, I want it to be completely round. So I'm going to take this one. And this you use later to push down the sushi and give it like the round shape. But there's lots of different shapes you can make. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to take our sheet of nori. And you're going to lay that into the frame with the base. Not the lid yet. We have the rough side facing in and the shiny side kind of on the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the sushi rice and we're going to put that in the bottom of our base. So we're going to put that in the bottom. And you want the bigger amount of rice to be on the top of your things that you put in the middle. So you'll have two layers of rice that you put in this thing. You'll have your bottom layer, then you'll put your ingredients, and then you'll have a top layer, and then you'll wrap it. And you want the top layer to be more rice than your bottom layer, if I'm making any sense. What I want to do is I want to put in cucumber. So this is our attempt at Julian cucumber. We're obviously not, not super good, but we're going to put the cucumber in and we're going to put avocado. And you want it to go kind of down like the length of it. So you might have to add multiple pieces. go with this one. <laughs> and then I'm going to add I think my cream cheese next. So I'm using cucumber, avocado, cream cheese, and imitation crab. Very important, you're going to want to get sushi grade fish. Don't just go to Walmart or Publix or I don't know, oldies and just buy raw fish and be like, I'm gonna make sushi. That is a bad idea. You want um sushi grade fish so a place like walmart is not the place to go to get fish for this you're going to want to go to a place where there's literally someone you can talk to and ask if they have any sushi grade fish they did not have the person there at Publix when i went so i had to get imitation crab to be safe now we're going to take our imitation crab and we're going to put it in well i'm running out of room this could be the gi giant sushi right here okay and we're going to do our other bit of rice on top. You know what you're going to do? <clears throat> so you're going to fold one side of the nori in and tighten it. I guess that's tightening it. I don't know. Then you're going to moisten your fingers like so. 
and you're going to slide them over the already folded part and this will just actually make it sticky and form like a seal. Okay, so we have it moistened. We're going to pull our other side down. So we're going to get the corresponding cover. Remember we wanted round sushi. Can you see it? Round sushi. And it says to put it on and then just press really, really hard. I don't see how this is going to work well. But okay, I'm going to do it. So we're putting on the round thing. It says to push it down. <clears throat> okay, kind of maybe worked. I don't know. And then you're going to take the super cool sushi knife, which is here. It's this knife that has all these like holes in it. I don't know why that's important. Do you know why these holes are important? Probably help stuff not stick to it as it goes down. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. Oh, well. We'll just... Okay, what you should really do, people, but I'm not going to do, is you take a towel, and you, you like a wet towel, and you're going to like wipe off the knife, okay? And then you cut, and then you wipe off the knife, and then you cut so it doesn't like get stuck together and stuff. I'm not going to do that, though, but you should do that. Okay, so now we're going to cut it. And it has these really cool slot, like little, what are these, like slots? Can you call them slots? Slots. And we're just going to cut, so you're going to hold the base. You're going to cut down through. Go again. This is where you would wipe it off. Now show us how dirty is that knife. Yeah, so it's probably worth wiping off. So you would wipe it off if you were, like, going to get professional looking sushi, but we, we, we already... Whoa, what's going on here? That ship has sailed. What? Yeah, we already know it's not going to be professional. looking sushi. So we're not going to worry about it, but, you know, oh, oh, no. Should the towel? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Maybe we should get the towel. Just slice it more. We're back and forth. Nope, nope. Pressure. It's not going to work. Nope. We need a towel. We got to do the towel. Dang it. Thing for being right. Okay. So, things we learned. If the thing says to wipe off the knife on a wet towel, it is not lying, and you should do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if this one's going to even be able to cut. It's going to just be, this one's going to be messed up. Start on the new one, just to see if it works. Yep. Ah, oh, dang it. Wipe. Oh. 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 <laughs> Goodness. So, here's where I need to cut. There we go. Man, I really wouldn't think that would be necessary. Okay, so, um, not optional. <laughs> Towel wiping. Definitely not optional. Oh, uh, uh, my depth perception's not. Oh. That's the one you started in. Oh, oh. Uh. Okay, so it says, place the cover back on the roll. Cover. We're going to use roll loosely. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> oh. um, you're going to place the cover on the roll while holding the cover down. Pull the frame up off the mold. Oh, okay. Um, easier said than done. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, it's still hard. No, it's not super easy. <laughs> this is not an easy process. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> um, turn the base over. So... the base over. It says and gently knock on it with a knife. I'm gently knocking on it. Hashtag Megan needs a cooking show. Okay. So it says slowly remove the base. <laughs> I need to knock on it some more. Oh no. 
Oh no. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I got really excited. <clears throat> and then it just says to enjoy your sushi. It's actually really good. It really is. Okay, you know, we have some ones that, like, this is not even sushi. This is, like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> like a horror movie. But for the most part, it actually looks pretty. Okay, now that you guys are back, I want to give you my final review. I really, really like this product. If, if you want to be able to make sushi at home for yourself for much cheaper than you would ever make it in a store, but still come up with some pretty, pretty nice looking sushi. This is very cool. This allows you to make sushi at home. And I have tried rolling sushi before, like the, the actual way. And it is very, very hard. And this is so simple and so easy. It is a lot of fun. What's cool is you can do eight different shapes for the rolls. You can do round rolls, heart rolls, teardrop rolls, triangle rolls, half moon rolls, mouse ears, squares, and mini squares. You can do all those different shapes for your rolls. They're, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. And, it does say, it does not, or it does not say in the book if these are mach, um, machine, wa uh, machine washable, is that what I would go, uh, dishwasher safe, that's what I mean. But we tried washing some of the pieces in the dishwasher and they didn't melt, they were fine. So I think that I'm safe to say that this is, everything in this kit seems to be dishwasher safe. Now my one thing, my one critique is this book that comes with it says Sushipedia, everything you need to know about sushi and how to prepare about or how and how to prepare it which I think is a very bold claim <laughs> and I don't think that this delivers on that I think that I could have used way more information in here like a ton more information that I was not given oh oh and by the way the best part in here I think is the rice the sushi rice recipe now the directions are very very long and very confusing for the sushi rice. Um, normally we usually just prepare sticky rice in like a rice maker but it makes it very pasty and with this recipe right here and here this is on page seven and eight the the sticky rice is not pasty it's like the best sticky rice we've ever had like my husband was like whoa this is amazing he was very impressed with the quality of the sticky rice that he was able to prepare using this recipe so there are some parts of this that are very helpful, but I just don't feel like there's enough instructions. The step-by-step -step sushi guide where it tells you how to use uh, the frames and the bases and everything, I found it very, very confusing at first. I had to read it like nine times, nine or ten times before I could figure out everything. Um, and you do end up getting rolls that look pretty similar in quality to the ones here. This is a very, very neat kit. So I give it, oh, right in the back here, they give us uh, five stars that we can give it. I give it four and a half stars. I think that it is very, very nice. I think that the price is actually pretty good. I think it's like $29.99, I think. Um, if you like sushi and you want to save money by making it at home, this is going to be a product that you will love. If you just want to have something fun to do and make with someone, you know, like for like a, a date night, you know, you want to do like a sushi night, this would be really fun for you. This is something fun that I'm going to try to work into my weekly meal schedule, like sushi nights, sushi Saturday or something. I don't know. I'm very, very excited about all the opportunities this product opens up for me. I am just highly impressed with this product. So that is about everything I can think to tell you about. Um, you saw me using it to make the different rolls. You, you saw. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And again, I'm sorry if I am not sounding like my normal self. I am very, very, very sick. So I just wanted to finish this video and get it up. So thank you so much for watching. And this is Megan Hilt out.